ओके सो वी वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एच टू एस ओ फोर फर्स्टली वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉलिक्यूल बाई लूस डॉट स्ट्रक्चर मैथड ओके और राइट सो द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ सल्फर द सेंट्रल आइटम इन एच टू एस ओ फोर इज इनर्ट कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ नियॉन एंड देन थ्री एस टू एंड देन थ्री पी फोर और राइट नाउ एज इट इज अ थर्ड पीरियड एलिमेंट इट ऑल्सो हैज अ वेकेंट थ्री डी सबशल ओके विच हैज जीरो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एज फॉर नाउ इन द ग्राउंड स्टेट ओके नाउ वट हैपन्स इज दैट सेल्फर गेन्स एन एक्साइटेड स्टेट एंड शिफ्टिंग और जम्पिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टेक प्लेस ओके सो वट हैपन्स इन एक्साइटेड स्टेट ऑफ सेल्फर इज दैट शिफ्टिंग विल टेक प्लेस एंड इट ऑल्सो हैज अ वेकेंट थ्री डी सबशल Four, five. Okay. So it it was having two electrons in the three s subshell and four in three p. Okay. So the first electron will shift to the three d uh, subshell, and one reaches here. This is the first excited state. Okay. Now the second excited state. Will be the shifting of electron from 3s to 3 3d. Okay, this electron has now jumped from 3s to now 3d. Okay. Now, as you guys can see, that sulfur now has six six uh, unpaired electrons. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, very well. Now uh, we are going to draw the structure by Lewis dot structure method. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to rub this now. so sulfur has six uh unpaired electrons okay 1 2 3 and 4 okay now it has two hydrogens uh which means that number of h atoms present is equal to number of oh bonds in the molecule okay this must be clear now we are going to draw the oh bonds first okay so the first oh bond o h the second o h now we are left with two oxygen atoms which we are going to draw now oxygen oxygen okay so oxygen donated its uh two electrons and now it has it has got four electrons with itself now what uh did electron uh, did oxygen uh fulfill its uh, need of uh, valence uh, valence electrons okay so we are going to count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay oxygen has completed its need of valence electrons similarly this oxygen has also completed its need of electrons okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 similarly this oxygen and this oxygen and hydrogen just makes a single bond so it has completed its duplet similarly this hydrogen has also completed its duplet now the problem with uh, lewis dot structure is that it states that any element wants to complete 
complete its octet okay which means it wants to have eight electrons in its valence shell okay but in this case sulfur we're going to count how much how many number of electrons does sulfur have has right now okay so one two three four five six okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve you guys can see that it has 12 electrons which is a fallacy according to Lewis dot structure so what happens is that in in a little uh, complex molecules we don't use Lewis structure because it 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 creates a fallacy okay Lewis dot structure cannot be applied to every molecule okay in simple cases like HCl you guys can see that uh, you guys will be able to see that it is okay there but in many of the cases uh, loose dot structure fails because it has extended uh, subshells okay because it it had 3d 3d subshell so we are going to draw the structure of h2so4 by uh, hybridization okay i'm going to rub this So for hybridization, we are going to calculate the hybridization of H2SO4, okay? Uh, for that, we need to find out the valence electrons of each atom present in this molecule. Hydrogen has one electron, valence electrons in its valence shell. And since there are two uh, hydrogen atoms present here, so we'll m multiply it by two plus. Sulfur has uh, six valence electrons plus six. Oxygen similarly also has six valence electrons, but we have four uh, atoms of hydro uh, oxygen, so we are going to multi multiply it by four. Okay, so where does where does it reach? Two plus six plus twenty four is equal to thirty two. Okay, now for hybridization we are going to multiply this thirty two by eight. Okay, so thirty two by eight gives us four. Now this four. Uh, gives us the structure of H2SO4 molecule okay so for uh, number 4 represents it has sp3 hybridization okay now we're going to draw the structure so the central atom sulfur also this uh, sp3 represents that the structure of H2SO4 molecule will be tetrahedral okay tetrahedral structure okay now this sulfur has uh, this is the central atom now now this uh, number of H is equal to number of OH bonds will also be applicable here okay so one OH here one OH here another oxygen here and one oxygen here now this four what did it mean actually it meant the number of bond pairs okay see this is the first bond pair okay the second bond pair okay the third bond pair and the fourth bond pair but oxygen makes double bonds okay so when we are writing, uh, for example, we wrote, uh, we, drew, we drew the second uh, bond pair. In addition to that, we are going to normally apply a double bond because we all uh, know by common sense that oxygen makes uh, two bonds. Okay, so you guys will be able to count it like this. One first bond pair, the second bond pair, the third bond pair and the fourth bond pair and automatically what you guys will have to do is that draw uh, the double bond of both the oxygens and you guys will be able to uh, know the structure of H2SO4 okay thank you thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video